Here we are looking at Andy Warhol's Campbell Soup Cans. This is made by 1962 in America. Andy Warhol is an American artist. He is known as one of the most famous figures in the 20th century artwork, a leader of pop art. Here, please allow me to briefly introduce pop art. Pop art is an art style mainly come from commercial art. It is an art movement that explores the relationship between popular culture and art. Artists of new age combine commercial art with modern art. Characteristic is to enlarge some details of popular culture such as chemics, fast food and trademarks. Let's come back to Andy Warhol's and his work. He was born in Pittsburgh in 1928. In 1949, Andy left Pittsburgh for New York to become a commercial illustrator. In 1952, Andy gradually became a famous commercial designer. He began to think about the connection between commercial painting and art and tried to combine commercial painting and art. This experience determines that his artwork have some commercialist style. In 1962, he created Marilyn Monroe. This artwork is 20 by 16 inches. The material is canvas and acrylic painting. He used skill screen painting technology to make the picture look like a print work. This makes the work full of commercial atmosphere. Seeing the rise of popular culture in 1960s, and he linked it with art. The same year, 1922, he created this work, Campbell Soup Cans, and held his first pop art exhibition. This work consists of 32 canvases each of which is 20 by 60 inches in size. Can of Campbell soup paint on it. Each one has a different taste. Similarly, he did not use painting to complete this work, but used skill screen painting technology to complete this work. This work looks like a commercial poster, the same image above it and repeated. Campbell soup cans use popular culture and the commercial painting as the theme of creation, which is a challenge of the definition of art at that time. This work and his exhibition caused great controversy in the art world at that time. It also led pop art to enter the place of art and becomes the mainstream art movement at that time. And this work also made Andy famous, and he opened his first personal art museum exhibition as an artist. He became the most famous pop artist in the United States, and for a period of time became the most expensive artist. These 32 cans still occupy a place in the history of contemporary art in the world.